Welcome to Socially Served. I'm your host, Frank Stroka, and we're at the Abilities Expo. And thank you for joining us today. I have a great guest here, Camilo, from Wheel of the World. And we're going to talk about travel and uh, how to make travel a little bit more accessible and accommodating travelers as they wheel the world. So welcome, Camilo. Thank you, Frank. Thank you, Frank. It's a pleasure to be here. A pleasure to meet you here at the Abilities Expo. Hey, first time I am in the channel, so I'm super happy, super stoked to be here, and super happy to talk about travel and all the questions that might appear. And you know, people now are traveling more, things are opening up, thank goodness, but uh, always was a challenge when people were traveling, right, in terms of uh, different disability barriers and, and being accommodated for those barriers. And often when you're traveling, lots of places say they are accessible, but sometimes they're not quite accessible. Maybe yeah. you don't know what accessibility really is when you're traveling. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing. Uh, accessibility relative, is relative for everyone, you know? Something that can be accessible for me cannot be accessible to X or Y person. So what we focus on at Build the World is on gathering and showing people the accurate accessibility information so they can make the choice themselves, you know? It doesn't make sense for us to travel on a vacation and be all stressed out, you know? Okay. Vacation should be fun. the complete yeah. other way around, right? right? You should go relax, have fun, and not be thinking if the bathroom is going to work for me, if the bed is going to be too high, if the door is going to fit. Right. You shouldn't think about those things. You should have that already on the back and that's decided. Kind of based on your experiences too right exactly. when you're traveling this all also comes up and they you know what some organized motels or hotels maybe have the right they maybe have the right attitude about trying to accommodate but they may not know how right exactly and so you need to know what that expectation is because you want to enjoy yourself right? you want to enjoy yourself you want to have fun so when you book to us with the world you get all the accessibility information and we also get customer support that because as, as a, we were saying every disability is different you know right. every spinal cord injury is different right. every cognitive disability is different so we have very special customer support that focus on understanding your needs and our system has a profile that you can fill out to understand your needs. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you about that. So so you're actually at your a travel agency. Yes. And but what you do is is you right, you you, you scan this QR code, is that yeah. what you do? And then the, what we do, when you scan this QR you will be taken to our website. Okay. What we do, I'm gonna start a little bit okay. from scratch okay. so we can leave this <laughs> recorded on this amazing channel. And it's we are a social startup with the purpose of making the world accessible for travel. And what we do is that all the destinations that we map out on our website are previously visited by people trained by us, measured, verified, and registered as accessible um, destinations. And that's why on our webpage you can find all the accessibility of different places from Cancun, all the way to Italy, we have more than 120 destinations listed in, in our website. So, uh, as we were saying, when you go on our website, the website is our website is www.willtheworld.com. You will find it here, yeah. and it will be tagged in the comments of the video. And when you go on our website, you sign up and you fill out your accessibility profile. When you fill out your accessibility profile, is to let us know everything about your needs. So we have tailored a very specific questionnaire about accessibility needs. So the website understands your needs and then matches you with the best possible outcomes that you can get. So if you want to go to Cancun and you're registered on our website, by the way, the registry is completely free, the sign up is completely free, we don't charge for a membership or anything. It's completely free. So when you look for a destination on our website, our system matches you up with the best possible hotel that can accommodate your needs. 
and then it matches you up with the best possible activities that you can do that will accommodate your needs. Nice. Yeah. Very customized exactly. travel. Exactly. It's customized, customized travel. Accessible travel. Customized accessible travel. There you go. Thank you for the new <laughs> definition, Frank. <laughs> That's great. So it's a great service. So how long have you been operating now as you're We've saying been, a startup? But. The company started in a very amazing way. Our founders, two friends from since they were kids, Alvaro uh, has a quadriplegia. Alvaro wanted to visit this crazy place in Chile, one of the most unaccessible places, I believe so, <laughs> in the middle of the mountains of the Patagonia. He wanted to do a, a trekking, a trekking okay. there. And Camille said, come on man, let's do it. They did it, and it went viral. And everyone started asking, how did we do that? That was five years ago. Five years now into, into, into the company. We have more than a thousand travelers that have traveled with us. Um, more than 120 destinations. And destinations all around the world. Like, so they provide you with the feedback during their travels to the different places they stay exactly. at. And then they start to build up this, this customized... Yeah, we train um, mappers all around the world to go on these hotels or to talk to these tour operators so they can so they can map out the hotels and use our system to upload all the information so the web page so the web page can matches you up with your program. And what's in, involved with the training? The uh, training? No, it's just a very simple training of becoming right. a mapper. It's literally a 20 minute training that you can complete where, where we um, show you how to use our system and how to upload all the, all the information and basically how to take the measurements that we need and the photos that we need. It's, right. it's super simple and anyone that wants to be a mapper on our website, on Partners, there's uh, the link to sign up to the program. And we also have our affiliate program. That our affiliate program is, if you have a product that we could list on our webpage, you just have to sign up and that's it. We start listing it on our website Perfect. and we start offering to more people. Perfect. That's our that's What a great program. concept and long overdue. Honestly. Long overdue, long yeah. overdue. So you must get a lot of great feedback in terms of this. It is a service that you're really providing too, right? Yeah. Uh, so you must get a lot of great feedback from all over the world. We do, and it's super. That's super important for us, hearing our travelers and highlighting their stories. We actually have this program on our social media. That's every Thursday we highlight one of our travelers or one of our collaborators. That this. A, that has a story. Yeah, we we story want to show their stories. Yeah. We want to show people that it is possible that you can travel. You know? it That's is possible. great. That's great. And I love that whole story in terms of your founder, how he kind of went through those challenges of you know accommodations and accessibility, mm -hmm. and did what he wanted to do. And now you're inspiring so many other people, saying, "Look, you don't, you, you can do, and we can enable." Right by using this our, our services. And the interesting thing about this is that when you travel, you're not just enjoying yourself and you're not just doing it for yourself. When you travel with a di uh, with a disability, you're paving the way for the rest of the community that's coming behind of you and wants to go there. You're creating awareness because when I go to a new place that I've never been before, I tend to. When you go with the wheelchair, you tend to make an impact. And people are now aware of that. So when you travel, because you're paving the way for the next generation. And it's an education piece, it's an awareness piece. So that's exactly. great. All these things combined in what you do and what you offer, I think that's amazing. Yeah. So would you want to tell us, viewers, about your website again, uh, just so that they know where to go? Yeah. You can go into willtheworld.com and there you will find all of our social media we're on instagram we're on tiktok we're on facebook we're on linkedin we're in every social media right so you will find us just search will the world in any social media and you will find us there and we'll be happy to hear you out they accommodate your needs and just take you anywhere the world is our playground 
The world is open. Yeah, we can go can everywhere. Around. <laughs> Covid's almost over. We can go everywhere. That's awesome. Thank you so much for thank joining you, us Frank. today. Thank you for including me. I'm very happy to be here. Yeah, and thank you for being our guest here on Socially Served. And I thank you, viewers, for joining us today at the Abilities Expo. We hope to see you soon. Bye for now.